Ooh, I definitely didn't want to hear that song. And I like this song, but no. Um, I'm going to do a Sagittarius reading over again because I feel bad because I don't, but I do because I just don't like all that be going on that be getting, you know, tarot is personally impersonal. And I know that I've been called, my purpose, one of my purposes is to share my experience, share my experience with people so that you won't make the same mistakes that I do or so that you don't feel uncomfortable if you're going through something, you know, but you're like, damn, she letting it all out, shit. That's better than keeping it all in. You ain't got to do it my way. You can even live vicariously through me. Like, damn, one day I'm going to get to that point, you know? However, I don't be wanting my personals to get mixed up, especially when it's old. Like, y'all don't even know what I done been through in my life. I know everybody done been through something, but some shit is more spiritually based than, you know, you getting into car accidents, you being homeless all the time, you in abusive, really bad abusive situation. I mean, I done heard some crazy shit. But when it's spiritual, that shit hit different. Because people try to, like, pull the wool over your eyes, but they can't. I don't really utilize my third eye. That's why I just, I, don't, I mean, for what? I see exactly what the fuck is going on here. You know, some of y'all like that. I'm going to do a Sagittarius Libra reading. You eating your food. Like, I've been like that since I was a child. They was calling me a little witch and shit like that. So I don't know what kind of weird shit. Black people are so weird, you know? And some black people may feel like that, but don't silence your voice just because you black. Like, that's abusive and that's terrible. And if anybody makes you do that, get the fuck away from them immediately kind of shit. Because then you're making, like, your race, the color of your skin, a law. There is nothing above a law. He is all. Black people just are so toxic. Gaslight each other. Say you're going to be there, don't be there. Say you're going to do this, don't do that. Always up to no good. And it's always surrounding money. So that's when you have made your choice and decision that money is your God. And that's just how you roll kind of shit. And people that don't roll like this tend to stay in conflict with people that do. People that don't care, honey, sitting there watching you do what you do for money. Sitting there watching you attack them because they're good at what they do. They see you're good at what you do too, but... You on this competition shit. This is in all races going on. I was this little girl inside. I don't care how I look to people. I could have been saying she is so pretty. And a lot of times I was admiring people's looks aesthetically. This is a little rumor that was going around. Maybe why I'm getting a pain in my chest a lot. You know, he gonna deal with a lot of these motherfuckers tied to my family. For real. Nobody exempt. Y'all y'all got the same luxury. Shit. Real subscribers and ain't on no motherfucking trash. Everybody always on trash. You can't have shit. White people moving money around like they fucking crazy and niggas is still niggas. And I'm supposed to stick around for you to hurt me and do all this old weird shit to me because we black? Okay, okay, okay. This is getting kind of scary kind of shit. America, Congress, help me. The fuck? Anybody why? People done lost their damn man. They been sold out to money. Now they squandering and just doing all over the place with it and trying to come up with this and that because God done showed himself to be real 
and they show themselves to be a fucking fraud because they ain't never, they didn't say F God. He taking too long. I'm going to do this my way kind of situation instead of Yahweh. They went Usher Raymond. Are they going to do it their way? They went Frank Sinatra. You know what I'm saying? And both of them know that's a whole ass no, no. If they don't, they better understand. You hear me? Watch how people handle your children. I don't have a son right now. And I was an excellent mother. False allegations galore. Something to do with my family. Yes, my sister. These systems. And people selling out. And doing all kind of shit. They ain't got no business. Getting cursed by their parents because they was disobedient. It be really God cursing them. Because their parents be too weak. Just gonna deal with it. Let them keep doing it. And a lot end up cursing their ass. Cause they done play with him first of all kind of situation now your disobedience warrants you this now go ahead and keep your job i'm fair and just you sold out to it if you can't afford the price hikes oh well don't call on a law call your boss Even if it's your husband. You motherfuckers get out of hand with that shit. That's your husband, not your a law. You can't supply all your needs. Why is the divorce rate so fucking high? You know what I mean? You don't let nobody interfere between you and your Allah, your God, your creator who made you. If a motherfucker can't make your lips, I ain't talking about injections, bitch. Uh. I'm talking about the one that made a doctor just injecting your goddamn lips. A lot of people are screwed up. Some people righteously, some people unrighteously. Some people unknowingly because shit just been so fucked up for so long. Motherfuckers got dementia in all different corners of the earth. It's sad. I don't give a fuck if I don't get a lot of views. But a lot of times I be having dark entities. One in particular, Chad Elliott Evans, that America can't seem to contain this dark dragon energy born in the year of the dragon. Why can't you... Subdue this motherfucker. He's taking away from food out of my mouth. He does not pay child support. Why do I have to keep bringing this up on my channel? You know why, subscribers? If you're a tarot reader, this is going to happen to you. You can try to ignore it all you want to, but these motherfuckers be keep getting stronger and stronger because fear is a motherfucker. When you know you done did wrong by somebody that never did wrong to you. Deal with the consequences of your fucking actions. You keep coming around here. This is why your name keeps getting brought up. But this ain't your time to shine nothing, nigga. But some shoes if you can find them, player. And get me my child support. I'm so sorry, subscribers, that you keep having to hear this nonsense. However, I just serve as a sign of what you're going to have to deal with or what you are dealing with in your personal life. So don't feel alone out there. You got all the sense in the world. Motherfuckers is full of fear and then lost their damn mind because you ain't did bad by nobody. You tried to do right by all men. You did unto others. You went on no motherfucking trash and people keep harassing you, doing shit to you, stalking you, trolling you, following you, doing all this whole weird ass shit. Can't send you a cash app, though they act like they care. They gaslighting you, calling it family, but it's lies, okay? Speak on it. Don't be abused anymore. That's why this gaslighting fade, this shit is crazy. Because families, black ones, are the fucking 
kings and queens of gaslighting each other. You do not keep your word. If you don't have your word, you don't have shit. And you shouldn't have a tongue in your mouth. Because you keep saying you're going to do this and you don't do it. Why don't you don't say shit? Why don't you stay out of other people's business? Why don't you sweep in front your own dough? Ain't that what your elders tell you? That now you, some of you make a law? They're not. They can barely remember what the fuck time and day it is. Because they paying the piper too. For all the whoops and all that shit. Talking too much. Getting in other folks' business, being messy, and it's all about money. You choose who you going to serve. You can be a billionaire, just like to make money for fun, but know that God is in control of all in all. Yes, a Warren Buffett could be a whole ass saint. Uh, I choose to serve God. However, this looks fun. I'm a Virgo. Why not? Let me make all the money. Kind of shit. Niggas, on the other hand, a lot, way more than white people. Let's be honest here. Will kill you over $200. Some Jordans, rims. Nothing you can eat for real. Huh? Get your fucking selves together. Blind justice? Justice goes blind. That means... It's a free game because self-preservation is the first rule. And even if I'm considered a dirty cop, I choose God. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing for this menial ass amount of money. You, on the other hand, keep doing shit for money and saying F God because you have no fucking morality. Because if you did... We wouldn't be arresting you for rape. We wouldn't be arresting you for pedophilia. We wouldn't be arresting you for fucking child trafficking and sex trafficking and crack and... I mean, and the beat goes on. I would put a blind phone over my eye too. I don't see shit. Because at the end of the day, you're going to keep calling me. And then calling me a joke, calling me a pig, saying I ain't shit, da 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 I understand, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a special motherfucker. They should call police the Avengers. Because the word police just don't fit no more. They like avenging angels. I don't care how you see me. You can see me as a sellout. That sounds silly because you programmed and you dumb. And you don't think beyond your nose kind of shit. And I'm insulting who needs to be insulted. This bitch was asking me in Walmart parking lot to fill out a form to defund the police. I said, get the fuck away from me. Because if I was to bust you in your fucking face right now, you would pick up your phone and call 911. Yet, you want me to fill out a form to say defund the police. You look and sound like a clown. Please get away from me. And she got the fuck away from me. Who getting paid what? People would do anything to get paid. Say dumb shit. Ain't looking to no laws or nothing. Take this clipboard. Go down there. You get this amount of money like it's voting registry. No, bitch. You're actually saying stop paying the police crumbs. But you, who gonna call who, bitch? Do you got a gun? Do you got squad cars? You. So what the fuck you trying to stir up? Miss Mother kind of shit does
People been on a wing and a prayer for a long motherfucking time. And I ain't talking chicken wings, bitch. This bitch is done. Empires in reverse, but not everybody's. There would be a snatch back. The billionaires got a snatch back. America and other parts of the world. Just take it because it's, it's done. People don't have a say so if they don't have no money. What well, your boy said. Don't say Allah. Don't say God. You said you serve money. Some people. By your actions. And you more than likely in some shit like this. Called debt. Debt to income ratio. That means you got more than what you make. More than likely liabilities and not assets. Just eating, fucking, having children, being cruel to them. Think this shit gonna go on for eons and eons and eons and actually have the nerve to think it has something to do with the president. Think you can swiftly go to a therapist, you know, she'll solve it. You're gonna change in three months, yet you're dealing with over 20 years of trauma. This is some shit y'all are dealing with in y'all family, around y'all, friends that y'all thought was friends. I mean, it's a lot of weird shit going on because people are not able to keep up with, let's see, the, the Stearns, <laughs> you know, the Goldbergs, <laughs> oh money, you know. That just lets you know how much people were doing shit they ain't have no business to be able to keep affording the lifestyle. You got to be able to keep affording a lifestyle. And that shit is not no joke. I done did it my whole life, but I don't live above my means and I know how to live. What I'm dealing with this shit I'm in now, this ain't nothing I would even manifest for myself and my children. We are suffering from people just eating, gluttony, not playing their part, not doing shit, staying in celebratory mode, not getting to work, you know, bare minimum, think because they got a master's degree and their teacher, they doing more than Beyonce kind of shit. I mean, it's true. And you can't assume that. Because you don't really know what she's doing. Outside of her concerts. You only know what somebody showed you. You limited. You know? That's why you should focus on your own self. Your own universe. Your own world. Because on some real shit, you cannot take your eyes off of your life. If you do, you're going to be fucked up. That's why I said what I said. I've been like this. This would be an example of not taking your eyes off of your own life. When you don't take your eyes off of your own life and you don't mind other people's business, you see when other people are minding yours. You see when people come for you and you didn't send for them. You see? <laughs> Go ahead and fuck, you know what I'm saying? Go on, come fuck with it if you want to kind of situation because I ain't fucking with you. I'm eating. That's how these people are nowadays. Just pull up on you. You know. That's how takeoff is not here anymore. Success. Some of y'all. Some people walking right into more and more shit. Crazy. And lost their motherfucking mind. You see how that go? Thinking they gon' fake taking the stairs. They took the elevator all the way up there. But they're going to get dropped off because they're not able to keep up. They just got too much going on. Unrealistic expectations, you know? And a lot of assuming and a lot of not keeping their eyes on their own life. Some people try to escape their own lives in order to get success. Now they have to deal with the repercussions of not being home 
always being at work, trying to get the dollar, trying to get the dollar, forgot about their children, didn't make the right adjustments, while others of us sacrifice. And a lot of us, us that know how to live are homeless right now. We're in some weird-ass situation, more than likely, especially if you're highly spiritual. You ain't sold out to money. You sold out to God. If you young, older people, it's old money, you know, or just good with numbers and happen to pan out because they sold out to God first and they saw money is just a tool, just common sense shit. So people just, I don't know, fear-based, fear-based, impulsive, you know? Who the fuck gets into human trafficking and is a teacher and thinks that's okay? And think everything gonna go away if you just do more and more work. If you do more and more curriculums. If you do more and more test testings and tests, all that. They don't care about that shit. That's on 33. They don't care about all that. You, you, you can do all that all you want to. You still got to deal with the consequences of your actions one way or another. You know? There's just a lot going on. Mm hmm Some of y'all just want peace and always got some shit going on. Always facing some type of sorrow, but you see exactly where you're going. You got your eyes. You know, you're not a space cadet like this. She ain't even looking where the fuck she going. You know what I'm saying? You in a fucking car. And you take the stairs. Eyes on the road, outside of it, ready to take off. Take off. You know what I'm saying? It's just true. These people was coming up, dada, satiety, eating out all the time. You know, may have habits. They ain't, they ain't taking none of that into account. Living an abundant lifestyle. Like, it's just going to keep going and going forever. When they debt to income ratio looks crazy, crazy. But it's just trying to get away from some type of misery within themselves. They just just now getting around and doing the work because they ignored it. It came out in an uglier way. That's how you can get a teacher to fall off in the human trafficking. That's how you can get people to doing shit to family members that they would never do because they didn't deal with their darkness, the shit that they grew up around. They trauma, stuff like that. They just suppressed it. Thought they could sex it away, eat it away. Just doing the same shit they're doing now. Some of them even profess religion. It was in church, all that. Just came to church in order maybe to be in a choir and go to the store kind of shit. It don't matter if you went, if you wasn't paying attention. I mean, you just going somewhere. You might as well have just left and went to the bar kind of situation. Because a lot of people dealing with shit. They don't know because they just was going to church because their parents told them they had to. But if it was left up to them, they had parents now where they said, you don't have to go, they would have stayed back kind of situation. What would have came of that? Who knows? That's how you get to knowing yourself. Stuff like that. Like, Dad, would I have ever been a Christian? You know? I did that to myself all the time. I didn't get into Islam about no man. I got into the nation of Islam for the military propensity of the nation because I was a single woman. I didn't have children, but I was making money. And I don't like guns and stuff like that, so I needed to know how to wake up. The military might be, stay woke, alert. Okay, that's why they doing that. Okay, he moving. You know, they train you a certain type of way, you know, and a law. Because it is Islam. You have to take shahada. You have to say that you are a Muslim. That there is no God but Allah. And Muhammad is his messenger. You know? For real. <laughs> Juma prayer. It's real. It's just a twist to it. Kind of situation. That's all. To kind of set us apart. Because it was more for black people. Because we were destroyed. We messed up. But the nation been around a hundred years. People ain't doing it. like what you think. What, what, what the, I'm trying to figure out what's going on with America. Hello, somebody. Just where I live at. <laughs> mm. 
That's the reality. I, I keep my eyes on my life. Don't want to. Don't want to. And I don't like all that. But I know I'm going to have to be in a salon to that. I never factor in, like, marriage and children and none of that. I was trying to make some money. And I love God supreme, clearly. I was a Christian Christian. Had my exhausted, exhausted concordance, whatever you call that. The check back, the refer book. My Bible. Went to Bible study. Went to choir rehearsal. On time. Listened to what they were saying. Took my voice lessons for free in choir rehearsal. Hello, somebody. Just because I love to sing, it heals me. I don't really care if somebody else hear it. Y'all may hear me sing on here. I'll be playing around. But when I jams, I jams. My mother, people wanted to covet me. Oh, you should be with me and come sing at my church. Oh, you should do... Because I had so many gifts. And I'd be like, get off of me. Like, no. What? You sound crazy. These are my gifts. I do with it. My mother always tried to... If you don't use it, you're going to... I said, I'll use it. At home. You trying to get, why I got to have an audience? That's maybe your dream. That ain't got nothing to do with me. You hear me? There's a whole lot of church boys sitting up in the penitentiary right now. And they ain't been my one of the beta. Church or the penitentiary. <laughs> For real. There's a whole lot going on, honey. Everywhere, everywhere. And my ear is hot like a fire. Oh, like somebody get a light on it. And lit it up. Some people going to be coming in a well. Some people going to be dying. Some people going to have real bad karma. Some people going to just bow down to the fact that you were right on some shit. Especially if you're a spiritualist. You know? Like it's a game or something. That's how some of y'all probably feel that really read tarot or are really spiritualist. Like what? You know what I'm saying? See you as virtuous now. You know? You was a weirdo. All these little weird shit going on about you. You know? Stuff that some of y'all parents didn't even tell y'all. But it's just like unspoken. Especially if you come from any aboriginal family. You know they don't talk. Like, I know you lying. What I know about me. What I don't know about me. You ain't God. Withholding information about me personally. What is this? A little contest competition again? I don't give a fuck what aboriginal fucking race you was. You better stand up for your fucking rights. The fuck? For real. Controlling. Control freaks. Crazy. Honey, I will with a law with me. Honey, baby. And a crazy boy here named Donald Trump, honey. Is you crazy? Just so people... Man, come on, man. Y'all better, honey, pay attention to your life from here on out, honey. If this your first time viewing this channel, honey, welcome, honey, to the Terra Dome. <laughs> the Love Shack, baby. Love Shack, baby. <laughs> oh, Jack Jimmy. <laughs> no, still... Oh, my God. Instead of the old Jack Jimmy, nigga, old Jack Jimmy, nigga. Oh my God, defeated a lot of these magicians, but they still people trying to figure out different ways to control and contain some of the shit that's going on. The prisons is overrun. Police can only do what they can do. A lot of places I know America is underwater. Empires is underwater. A lot of the creativity in America is what's keeping America afloat. For real. Keeping the morale up. Keeping things like everything is okay kind of situation. You got to really have a heart for your country right now. It ain't wrong. You know, musicians, same shit. Sometimes people don't have money. People have connections. Maybe for a favor. That's how I would do business, please, baby. King Garden teachers. Teachers. About to strike or something. Who cares? 
They don't know how to knock it off. I don't know. Something went wrong. They may have stayed in the classroom for too long and didn't say shit. Just want the money. Gossiping about it. Trying to find a, a relief from it. But went about it the wrong way. If anything, I would have did a strike to get a break with pay. Put shit in perspective. Like, what's the... Ex the America is so extreme. There's no medium. But they'll call psychic mediums or people that had to give to channel mediumship crazy. Like, what? This is babble on, bitch. I'm trying to get people what the fuck is going on because everybody talk too much about nothing and lying and all that shit. You got to get a medium to act as an energy reader through cars to tell you what's going on because you just so like, what the fuck is going on? Whenever you watch tarot, like, shouldn't you just know kind of shit? But it's all this extra shit always. You know what I'm saying? And they stay, I mean, you won't have enough to do anyway. People gonna be talking anyway, but damn, can they be talking about something? Can I read a reading about something instead of just, you know, crazy shit? She about to collapse. You see what I'm saying? They trying, but it's not. When you tired, how the fuck you gonna go swiftly? It don't matter your age. This is Cat talking. He's so wise and cute. Oh, Orange Cat was outside the the gas station and say he had garlic on him so he wasn't near when I came near today but just what I said just imagine he said that if you tired how in the hell is you moving faster going to help you achieve what you want to achieve why you think cats chill it's like he'll say chill man <laughs> For real. Like he put his paw on you and say, chill, man. <laughs> Morris. Morris. Morris is America's cat for real. <laughs> Morris was one of the, you know, like the California raisins. Morris used to make sure the cat food was on swag, you know. <laughs> you know, America Church Banquet. Quit playing with us. <laughs> Hell no. Chill, man. You know what I'm saying? You tripping. What you mean? You know? What you mean? You about to hurry up and get there and you busted. You is, you gonna get, you gonna be delirious. Cats be chilling. People be talking. They never gave a fuck. When it's time to kick ass, they kick ass and go right back into chill mode. So when all they do, they like they like psychics. They just animals. If somebody come around your cat they don't like, they're going to scratch them. They're going to show you exactly who that person is. If they go peaceful, that person is peaceful. If that person ain't peaceful, they're going to show their fucking ass. They're going to scratch them. They're going to do something. My friend came over. My cat was so smart. She heard him saying he didn't like to get cat hair on his clothes. She kept putting them on his clothes on purpose. He didn't know it was on there. So when he would get up to leave and put his, like, a sweater like this on, it would be all right. Me She got his ass. I mean, you, that's bro. What you mean? You don't, you don't think I can hear you? Look, I'm shitting because I'm stressed out because you fucking humans. It's embarrassing to me. I'm a female cat, you know? She said, hell yeah, this is my cat, America. She was the seducer. She would have been him, but she was... <laughs> this America, okay? She the seducer. He was the seducer. He ain't have a clue. It's so funny. Heck no. Dogs communicating stuff. They tired. And you still be trying to change to go to a therapist real quick. But you ain't never dealt with your childhood trauma. You in your 40s. Shit happened to you that's affecting you in your 40s. And you only 
you got okay just say you got molested when you was two or three and you remember that molestation because some people do you think you about to go to because you did something so crazy because you never dealt with that shit thought you could eat it away fuck it away screw it away not even so much pray it away because just say money done became your god by default kind of shit since people want to act like they ain't choose that i know that how are you going to change? What, in two months? You're going to go to a therapist for two months when you got 40. If you just say you're 42, you got 40 years <laughs> of trauma you never dealt with, basically. You had to break down. You see how she looked? She got him, she done got broke down. She frantic. I'm going to hurry up and change. Like, how? when? Like, what do you mean? Like a biological clock is ticking, you know? For real. Like a ner like a neurotic energy. I gotta change, I gotta change, I gotta get you would man, people and a lot of people live like that in America. That shit is so unhealthy. I live in America and I've been like this. People can say what they want to. Why she's so quiet? Da -da -da -da. I ain't thinking about them. I know they silly. Me at lunch, same thing. In America. Black up, then up, up. I joined the nation for its military training. Not to really become a Muslim. However, my teacher was so amazing that I was like, I, I want to be a Muslim. <laughs> you know? It wasn't for no to get married to nobody. Uh -uh. I still went to church and stuff when I wanted to. Ruin. Ruin, ruin, ruin. That's what we deal with. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of people disappointed. A lot of people disappointed that they didn't give people a shot or something, but they like seducer spirits. People going through a lot of shit, and it's making them act weird and unrealistic, you know? That's when you would get somebody that you say, now you know damn well I wouldn't date you. But in they mind, if they would have just went a little bit harder, they could have got you. But you know, it didn't matter whether they went hard or not. That you know, as a woman, you don't want that money. That's like, you know, if they was in their right mind, they wouldn't do that. That's why I try to just keep it real light with me, black men and try to keep it, you know, because I don't want to embarrass you, but because you already, you know. But I know you wouldn't be saying this sucking shit if you was in your right mind. You would know. That's just my girl. She's so pretty. I can't wait till she get her a dude. That's what a dude in his right mind would say. Not if I worked a little bit harder. And shit, you know? That's just like this dude named Ray Mir. I went to school with. He got murdered. But I, I'm glad they killed him because he was fucked up. They stayed in East Cleveland. Home of Rockefeller. He owned East Cleveland. What would people be talking about? Some of the people stuck like Flint, Michigan. Doing the same shit. You're stuck in consciousness and didn't realize it. Going to the same bar. Going to the same blocks. Selling the same drug. Like their karma was getting stuck in consciousness for not knowing when to stop selling crack. They waited till it just went into ruin and did try to change, but couldn't. He was somebody that would pull up on me when I'm sitting at the lunch table like this. And I would say to him, don't come with that shit right near, because he was a cool dude, but he had his quirks, you know? But it wasn't nobody that I would say, get the fuck away from me. No. You know what I mean? If I would have sat down next to him and he hadn't seen me in his right mind, 
They be wanting you to come to these little reunions and shit all the time. Like, y'all gonna get fucked up. Rockefeller had me go up there and see. He was so mad talking to me. Just put my back on the tree and we just commune. Like, what is this? They need to get out of here kind of situation. Not happy at all. And they took that Medusa down. Oh, it's just too much going on. But anyway. They had this bar that everybody used to go to. Right down from my school. And um, it used to be nice. But eh, it's a little. It, it's not. It's not never what it used to be. He was sitting at the bar. If he was in his right mind. He would have saw me and hugged me. Hey, the bitch. Hey, see, man, my nigga, what's up? I didn't know. I don't come around them. I don't go. I go when I'm guided. They think them asking me is me going, no, Rockefeller sent me there. Go see her. What the fuck is up? Go get an inside track. Can't kind of shit. What white person? It's white people that went to the school, but they don't do nothing but kick out money. When they come, they going flying back to wherever, going to their suburb. They see it's fucked up, but, you know, at least they get to have a little gathering. Like, no, this shit's fucked up and run like a motherfucker. He said, I said, what's up, right, Mir? I'm in my right mind. He kept talking to himself. But he had quirks like that, too. I'm like, man, here you go. He did me like this. He said, bitch, get the fuck away from me. And rolled up around. I said, okay, okay. I see what this is. So that alerted me. Muslim trainer. Now look at everybody in this bitch. Dad, done. My heart do this. Bitch, I ain't nothing to talk about. I'm about to go. You can call me whatever. I'm not obligated to keep my eyes on your life. I'm obligated to keep my eyes on my own fucking life. That's the simplest rule they give you in school. Keep your eyes on your own paper. And it don't got nothing to do with no goddamn money. It got to do with you got to do this work. You got to get it right. You got to, 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 you got to. Like, come on, baby. What the fuck? Think I'm thinking about R. Kelly, honey? He did a great work. If you really understand what's going on outside and you're not stuck in fucking Amityville or some fucking weird thing and you in a goddamn honey plush hotel in America. Shit is grace and mercy right now. Shit is morale right now. For real. Shit is resilience right now. Trump wasn't just talking. Like, where do y'all come up with this shit at? I be trying to figure it out. And it all got to do with money. Money is a tool. You cannot take that shit with you. The Egyptians tried it and was looking goofy as fuck. The best they got was to get more gold because that's what was on their mind transitioning over. But the gold that was in that motherfucking tomb was not going over there. It ain't hard. If you got gold on your mind... I bet you wake up on, honey, instead of bills and worry and this and that and blah, 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 kind of shit. That's what you gonna read. I keep saying, watch what dreams may come by Robin, uh, with Robin Williams in it. And he just presented himself today or yesterday. And I don't really, he don't really touch. He don't really reach out because he understands. It's a lot going on. <laughs> and she got a lot going on. And people don't get it. And this is kind of crazy. I Am Legend movie. It's coming out again. Number two. Movies be telling you what the fuck is up. That's another thing the nation taught me. You don't go to no fucking movie to sit up there and act like, you know what I'm saying, you don't see what's going on. You will say it's real, but then like, huh? Your grandma wants you to drop that man you have those babies with. Somebody needs to leave somebody alone. You think it's a car contract? You know, damn contract. Drop his ass off. Appreciation. Pluto may, may be affecting some of y'all. Caring connections. 
Somebody care. It ain't got nothing to do with no contract. Somebody care about you, you know. It's weird, that weird shit. But they have to channel it because the weird shit is going on. And yes, some people are up to their neck in debt. I don't know how this shit about to work out, but motherfuckers gonna be have to be more humble than what they is. Soul expansion, your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connection between all things. Some of y'all do, but y'all don't get respect. They don't give you don't do, no donations. They can't show appreciation. Some people just can't because they don't have the money. And some people penny pinching because they got to take care of so many people. And they don't know when they're going to be able to get more money because people starting to realize this is one. If somebody don't spend no money, baby, you ain't about to get nothing. And you got to have income in America. That's why Trump was like, get out there and erase this kind of shit. What you looking at me for? <laughs> you know, for real. Oh, damn well, this bitch got to keep on turning kind of situation. Hello, if somebody ain't spending with you. What you going to do? And people ain't willing to barter or act like they ain't. They can't say nothing. They don't know what's going on. Okay. <laughs> if you know a law, like I know a law, all you can say is, oh, all right, you know, and prepare for an early death like a motherfucker. Move beyond drama. Create your own path. Make room for good energy. Yeah. But the drama, fighting, all this. What? Of a twin flame, soul flame, isn't that? And you know, you got discernment about stuff. You know who is this and who is that. You ain't stupid. People was playing dirty. So, I mean, however stuff end up laying, that's how it like. Somebody, somebody better expect the unexpected. I don't know what that's about. Keep the faith. That's all I can say. When it's concerning a divine mask. And y'all know that's all y'all care about. <laughs> divine mask. Love and light.